hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is tolani and if this is your first time ever coming across my face or this channel you're welcome to this amazing place this is a very positive space and um yeah i'm a new wife hence the title so yeah if you know you'd be interested in knowing how to also plan your wedding the way i did for my 1500 guests please make sure you skip on watching this is the video for you all right let's get into it before we get right into that, I need to give a shout out to softappeal.ng on Instagram who gifted me this lovely piece um, of loungewear or PJs. They are so comfortable and the material is really soft. I love it. Love, love, love. And I like the print as well. I'm not even a fan of pink, but I really like this. Let's get right into this video. I'm going to need my laptop because I made a whole list of things I did and things that would also help you guys. The very first thing is you need to get a planner. My darling, you need to get a planner. I know many people like to do, I can plan my wedding by myself. If you're doing a small wedding, fine. I'm actually, okay, let me take this back. I'm actually an event planner and I have years of experience working as a coordinator before I actually said, you know what, I wanted to start my own business and also help people plan their events and put things together and just you know give them a well organized and put together event so the first thing i'll tell you honestly is get a planner i cannot overemphasize how important it is how it will relieve you of stress i know many people be like ah it's because you've not met the bad like a bad planner or a planner that will give you more headache now this is where you go into research before you take someone and say okay you know you want, you want to give this person your wedding or a big event something that you probably can never do twice like something you don't want to do twice like a very important day in your life i want to believe you've done some research before you pick that person and some things that you can do to research to actually like get a good planner is you check like their portfolio um testimonies or uh, you've even attended a wedding that they've planned or an event that they've planned um for me yeah that's the first thing i wrote to get a planner because honestly to to remain sane while planning your wedding is literally God's grace. That's the only way I can say it. I broke down so many times. It even made me and my fiancé quarrel. Let's just say fiancé, my husband now. He made us have like silly arguments. I was like, no, I don't want this. No, I want that. And honestly, the planner came in and tried to balance both what we wanted. Like, oh, okay, this person wants a bit of this. This person wants a bit of that. And she made it work. She merged it in such a good way it worked um for my wedding i used tessa law and one of the reasons why we actually picked that was off a wedding we saw on instagram and i just loved how everything looked you know sometimes some people like our ah, pictures don't really say the truth but the way her portfolio was um the way she showed her portfolio on instagram with the videos and everything i could tell like this person knows what she's doing and i i kind of had like i i believed in her work i think that's the word and my husband was also a fan of what he saw and that's how we picked the planner so yeah that's number one number two don't rush the process except you have to rush it some people get proposed to and then they want to get married maybe like the next month of course you'll be under pressure there's nothing that is done in in a haste that you won't be under pressure or you would be able to get everything you want like exactly how you want it I think I got proposed to in April and it, <coughs> bless me. I'm sorry. I got proposed to in April and we got married January. So that's May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. That's nine months. And I think I, I, I loved the fact that we had enough time to go over things, go over the process. Like, oh, okay, no, what if this works better? What if that works better? There are just some things that time will give you, give you um, the convenience to do. Do you understand? You can make you can make a decision like ah, I want this hall, but like another day you maybe even just attend attend rather sorry another event and you're like oh, okay this one has better um better what's the word I can't remember better amenities yes and you're like okay you know what let's change our mind let's re-strategize that kind of thing don't rush the process enjoy it it's actually your wedding as well you want to enjoy you want to be able to remember relieve this whole like the whole process. It's lovely from you going for your dress fittings, checking out halls, picking vendors, um, taking your pre-wedding pictures, 
everything like that you want to remember because these are the things that in years you'll be like oh do you remember when we're, oh. i just feel like those are the things you don't rush take your time take your time let's okay let's move on to the third um thing i did and that was i stood my ground and i trusted the process so you know how you do you want to stand your ground ah this is what i want but the planner is advising you i think this is better you also have to be able to you know compromise because this person is the professional here and i did that i did that with my wedding so much and don't forget that i'm also a planner but this person has more experience so i was just like i really wanted to like listen to her i think for my wedding i really you know sat back down and i was just like okay i wanted to learn from the process and that kind of also pissed my husband so much because it was just like this one you're a planner why are you not active active i'm like just calm down I'm, I'm trying to like learn i'm trying to you know soak it all up and all of that so um let me see one of the things i think i stood my ground on was for the after party my husband wanted fire breathers i don't know like people that i don't know what they do they just blame fire sharp and i was like heck no that's a big hazard and we have such a loud crowd i'm not having it i stood my ground he understood my reasons and it made sense and also it was a good thing that the planner could also chip in that oh because um where we're going to have our after party actually does not have that much of a large headroom it makes sense for us not to do things like that and we both reasoned and we thought okay well that's that's quite smart and so we didn't do it there also has to be a lot of an understanding between you and your husband i think that's or you and your partner rather when you're planning because if this person wants totally a and you want totally b there will definitely be a clash for people to get a b you have to compromise there are some that he will take there are some that she will take and you know i'm saying all of this we've never brought in parents we've not brought in family members that will also chip in here and this year this and that this is what they wonder now this brings me to our fourth role of what i followed it is your wedding my darling your wedding you literally this is one day that belongs to you i know everybody says it belongs to your parents and everything but in hindsight it's your wedding do you understand you will compromise you try to make everybody happy but in the in the total sum of it you want to make sure that whatever you're doing is what you look back in years and you're like ah oh, i'm glad i did it do you understand so you would have maybe made up your mind let me see for my parents i think they were quite chill about everything and it's oh and it's okay no that reminds me vendors so our parents really wanted to do the old ah no this family brings their food that family brings their food and both of us were like no we're not doing that we want general food because you know we've been to weddings i have been to weddings where maybe the bride's fa um, family their side literally food is you know popping and the groom side there's not as much food or the groom side drinks are popping and the bride side is dead do you get and now people now start to feel like ah, now wow why am i seated here is it not the same price of a shabby we bought that kind of thing do you get so we're like no it's going to be general food but we'll just make sure that there is more than enough we're expecting if i'm being honest a thousand to a thousand two hundred people and i think we had over a thousand five hundred people yeah but the good thing is we made food for over two thousand people so we had more than enough to go around i don't think there's anybody that came to the to the wedding that would say they didn't eat twice except you didn't want to eat because there was food and food even wasted because we had we had excess they packed it up for us and we brought it home and we ate it for like about a week like it literally lasted us for about what am i saying it lasted us for about two weeks because i still i still warmed some of the grilled fish from the wedding up like about last week so yeah that's what we did um you have to almost kind of like over plan like provide for more than what you've planned do you understand so if you're having 500 guests for instance you want to provide food for maybe 600 650 just because anything can happen anything can actually happen some of you believe that oh you know your own vendor that's what you want your vendor might not work well with your planner or in accordance with the coordinators on your wedding and that's a big problem people are very headstrong when it comes to this and that's what almost happened with our parents where they're like i know uh yeah so, so so maybe yeah farida look good uh, i almost spoke you right for those that don't understand i'm sorry where they are like maybe oh is the farida that must cook this rice or is the farida that will do the amala meanwhile the farida has never worked on an event that has that is on such a big scale you're putting her under pressure that she cannot handle she might clash with the coordinators she might not be able to deliver and then there will be a lag in your, on your wedding day and you're, and you're upset and you don't want that 
So let's just avoid what we can avoid. That's what I will preach. Please avoid what you can avoid. Um, that make, uh, makes me go to the, I think this is the fifth point. That will be, trust me, during your wedding planning process, you need God. You need God and maybe tissues if you're very emotional like me. But you need God so much because there's so many things that will come up that will test your faith, that will test your patience, that will test your love between you and your partner, literally. You would literally almost feel like, I'm saying literally too much. This must be the last literally. Okay. Back to it. You would feel like you're, you're on the edge and like you are, you would reach your peak. That's what I would say because you're spending so much money. You're spending so much energy. You're spending so much time. You're, you're, you are overwhelmed. So it literally, you need God. You need to literally put everything in this in God's hand. I'm like, okay, direct me. I don't want to make mistakes. I want everything to be good. I want my wedding to be a fantastic one. Or uh, you know, you just you need God. That's that's the that's the only way I can say your wedding and your wedding planning literally has to be on a foundation that is solid, and that's God, honestly. Yeah, that moves me to the fifth point that I think everybody wants to hear, and that's budget. Now. For me and my and my husband, we knew we were going to have a big wedding, and because I I always envisioned that my traditional wedding would always be cozy, I didn't want a large crowd. This was a very hard thing for both of us to agree on, but we 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 came to an agreement. Thank God, and that was that for my engagement, I wanted it small. I wanted it to be just family, friends, like close pals. And that was going to cost us so much money. And I'm talking about millions. That's because now we have to book um, a separate hall. We have to book vendors for two days. There is decoration. There is um, even your planner. Because now you're booking out for two events, basically. Um, there's lighting. There's drinks. There's outfits. My God, you guys, the list goes on and on. But we, I just made it, made him understand like, hey, this is, this is a day that I want to always look back and actually remember like I was part of it. Not like I see, oh, okay, you've changed your clothes. Next thing is this. I wanted to, I wanted to enjoy my traditional wedding. And I, I kid you guys, I had a swell time. For both of us, I think it, when we we're just even discussing, if I were like, we had so much fun at our traditional wedding than we did the main wedding. And the main wedding was lit. So imagine, we had so much fun. It was good. It was it was people that, we, like, you know, it was like our carcass. That's the word. It did cost us money, and we had to compromise for other things. Like, okay, so if we're doing this, we have to cut down on this. We have to cut down on that. We have to, you know, things like that. Budget is very relative, I know. But we just had to, you know, like, set to, like, oh, this is the amount we want to spend and, and all of that. This video is getting long, and I... I'm not yet there. If you guys know, I'm trying to keep my videos to like at least 13 to 15 minutes. So if you guys want a part two, please, 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 please let me know. Um, in the part two, if you guys want, I'll be talking about how to select your vendors. Um, I'll be talking about pricing as well. And maybe like probably expand more on, on the budget as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, drop a comment. Let me know. Let me know what you guys want from me. Don't forget this year is our content era. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we're gonna blow 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 and we're gonna put out so many content this year is it many or so much content either ways i hope it works thank you guys for watching my video and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye